If you're going to be performing a virtual installation of Ubuntu Desktop, then you'll want to download Oracle VM VirtualBox unless you already have some virtualization software already installed. Oracle VM VirtualBox is completely free. You can download it from the virtualbox.org website. Here we are on the main page. We'll select Download VirtualBox 5.0, and then we have to select our platform. So whatever operating system you're currently running, you'll want to select the appropriate link here. I'm running Windows, and so I would select VirtualBox 5.0.4 for Windows hosts. If you're running Mac OS, you would want to select this link. If you're on Linux, this link and VirtualBox can even run on Solaris. You would select this link here if you were running Solaris. I'm on Windows and I've already downloaded and installed Oracle VM VirtualBox. Let's open up the program now and take a look at the basic interface. We'll walk through all of this in greater detail as we go to install and set up our virtual machine for Ubuntu Desktop. But for now, you can see on the left that I have names of different virtual machines with different operating systems as well. Ubuntu Server, remember we talked about the desktop and server editions of Ubuntu and how they differ. CentOS 7, which is another distribution of Linux similar to Red Hat. Ubuntu Desktop, which we'll be installing in a moment, but I already have installed here. Windows 7, which is different from what I'm currently running. I'm currently running Windows 10. And FreeBSD 2, which was my second attempt at installing and running FreeBSD in a virtual machine. That's another Unix-like operating system. Now, before we go any further, I want to show you around Ubuntu Desktop so you can get an idea for what we're going to be installing.